What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back again on the free-to-play No Elite series. Now, we don't have that many developments as far as profit orbs go, we still need to do 16 more before the end of the event, and really, I think what our game plan is here, is we still have not finished our second 7-star tavern quest, or two more 6-stars, so we're about at 3,000 gems, and as you guys know... 3,000 gems should get you a guaranteed 7-star quest. So I think tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to use these 7 extra scrolls we get. See if we can get something lucky. We're also, actually, you know what, hold on. This might be done. It is done. So we're actually going to get 5 more senior, ooh, senior scrolls. We also get 7 profit orbs. This is really good for us. Oh my goodness. All right, we need to keep leveling up that speed right there. Get faster and faster. We have forest, abyss, and fortress. What do we actually want? Forest? Don't really need a forest. Fortress? Maybe abyss? Maybe? What do we have for puppets? What do we got? What do we got? We got... Actually, no, we already have abyss and a fortress. So... The Abyss one is taken care of. We just need one more one more hero. We could use a Shadow one, but of course we can't get a Shadow, which really sucks. Um, <laughs> I guess we go with Fortress. That way we have another 9-star in Fortress coming pretty soon. So I think that is the game plan then. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we already had one Puppet, right? One Puppet. So yeah, we'll have two. I think that'll be a good game plan. Trying to spread the food around as much as possible, I think, is one of the best things you can do. In the early game, let's get that monster on there. Let's swap him down, and let's just get a couple other heroes in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some good progress here, too. We do have Heroic Scrolls next week. We're already almost back up. Actually, we might be up to 100 scrolls now. Let's uh, hopefully just get easy Ws here. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Maybe we can make this a very quick trip, and we can get done by the end of next week, if that's the case. Oh, wait. <gasps> we have gems. But no, I want to wait till we get our daily quest to reroll too. That way it's a little bit easier to try to get like heroic scroll quest, gem quest, things like that that we really, really want. I don't think we're going to buy anything from here. Definitely not profit orbs. We could do heroic scrolls. But again, we don't know. I mean, honestly, we probably won't get done during the heroic scroll week. So I don't want to waste that right there. But we do have five quests here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We got one right off the bat. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. These are good. Qu oh, my goodness. These are all really, really good. All right. So tomorrow, I guess what our goal is, is to find two five-star quests because we just got the seven-star. I kind of want to hit this button, but I know that's very gem inefficient. We can do 10 profit orbs right now. And I think what we need to do... I think we need to put them in shadow because we need a little bit more food to make one more six star. So I think ending on shadow on this event is probably a good idea. So please, fingers crossed, give us, give us a blood blade right now. No blood blade. We did get a five star there too. Ah, uh, you know, we'll use the last one. Why not? Nothing there. Anything from swaps, please game. Give me some good swippy swaps. An Ithaca? I mean, you're elite, so I can't use you. <laughs> you know what? I'll take the second Glen because Glen could be food. We do have a few more. What does our fusions look like? We have two, three stars worth. I know we got some stuff to do today, but I want to try to look at this first. So we got two. We got like how many more? We got three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We don't quite have enough for another one, but we can at least get another Glen made up. We're really, really close. Like, really, really close. Let's take a look at our bags now, too. So, we do have a Fortress. Let's see who we get. Odeo one, nothing great. Let's see if we can get Faceless. Faceless might be a hero we build next. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We got three five stars. Come on, Bloodblade. No, no, no blood blade. Come on, really, game? Really? Really? 
Although we could make the faceless. I, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a faceless right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Now we just need one more fortress hero and then, or not fortress, one more forest hero. And then we'll be in a good spot. Because we need, actually, no, 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 no. We are all set right now. We have that one copy there. Let's unlock this one. Ooh, we got a we got a nine star demon hunter on our hands. Not like she's gonna do anything for us, but that means we got another nine star. We just need a blood blade. <laughs> We're so close. Uh, wait a minute, abyss. Do we have abyss as well? Oh my goodness, we have a we have an abyss nine star as well. We got nine stars everywhere. We do. Look at that. We got an abyss nine star. Okay. <laughs> Last up is just gonna be fortress, but again, we don't have any of we don't have three of any one hero, so I'm kinda holding off. Man, we are so close. We need one more shadow hero plus a second blood blade, because of course we got this right here for a blood blade. We just need a blood blade. Good lord. We're not gonna be able to buy them with relics anytime soon. I don't even think Bloodblade comes from Brave Trial, even like the lower chests. Well, we got our fusions done. We do need a 10 star for the month. Ah, nothing good there. Nothing good. We do 100 here. Nothing good there either. Nope. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Let's get rid of all this fodder. That's fine. Wishing found. So we do have some wishing coins. What do we need? We need a shadow hero. Hey, this ticks. If we get a ticks, that's a shadow hero. That's a food hero. Come on, give us something good. Eh, eh. That doesn't really help. <laughs> that doesn't really help us at all. More four stars equals more gems. So we're in a good spot as far as gems go now. We have three nine stars. Good lord. I don't think I'm going to invest anything in them because I think Illyria is going to be the first one I feed off. If only we can find a way to get two blood blades. Maybe during heroic scrolls we'll do good next week. We already have basically a hundred. We're gonna start buying scrolls every single day now instead of profit orbs. Profit orbs, we're getting really, really close. Five more. You know, we could actually get up to ten more and get another light and dark. I don't know if that's worth it. Probably not. Fighters competition, we got them. Tavern quest, we got fifteen coming our way. We're actually almost done with all this. This is really close to being finished. Okay, overall, that's pretty solid. Let's take a look at our guild tech right now. Assassins, where are we at? We're still working around on the speed. Draining a lot of resources. Let's get HP and attack leveled up. There we go. This one is what? HP skill damage. I think we'll focus on the HP attack first. Crit. Yeah, I mean, overall, we're doing decent. We're doing okay here. We're even doing okay here. I mean, we're getting 62 an hour, which is pretty good. Guild, I actually bought out like all the five stars, essentially. Maybe we'll save up for the light one. Can't get any of this stuff because the guild level is just nowhere near high enough. We still also have not touched broken spaces, which we probably should just because of resources. Hold on. Since technically we don't need those 3,000 gems. Oh, man. I don't even think... We don't even have a full 5-star set. I was going to say we could get an Assassin set here. But we'd still have to do the 6-star set. And even at that, we only have two pieces of this 5-star. Yeah, maybe next month we do gear upgrades. I think for now, we kind of kind of put, put ourselves in a holding pattern. I think we're good here. The only other thing we're going to plan to do today is probably jump into Aspen Dungeon. Ooh, 4,100. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of points. All right, let's get that going. So I think we're just going to go in with our normal hero setups. We're not going to invest anything in Demon Hunter and Hilaria because they're just going to be food. So let's throw our squad in. Maybe get a new checkpoint. Maybe. Three Demon Potions, eight Milk, one Angel. Not horrible. Not horrible at all. Yeah, we want PvP tickets. We definitely want wishing coins. We want those. Yep, yep, yep. Those are good. More arena tickets. That's really good because next week's event is going to have to do with using arena tickets. So normal one. What was our previous record? 22. 
I think we can probably swing it. What do you guys think? I think our Walter is going to be strong enough. Not Walter, Bloodblade. Why do I always confuse those two? Like, I'm not even seeing a Walter on screen yet. I say Walter. Ugh, Undead Assassin. They're Walter, they're Bloodblade. It's the same thing. I know there's going to be tons of comments down below talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, these fights we kind of have to watch just because, I mean, we could die to a lot of these, but our healing is still really solid. I think it's more or less the quad waves that are going to give us the biggest problems. Especially if they have CC involved. But the nice thing about quad waves, at least, is we clear a lot of enemies out. That shouldn't be a problem. We clear a lot of the enemies out here. You know what? Which means a lot of healing. Let's just see if Demon Hunter can do this and save our energy on the Walter. We'll see what she can do. Whew, no, we're going to use energy. We're going to try to save energy for more difficult waves now that we have a couple nine stars. Granted, they're not leveled up. They don't have stones. They don't have, they don't have a lot of stuff. But we'll see if they can clear some without using any potions either. Even if it's just on these easier waves, that is fine. So Demon Hunter, you are essentially dead you're not gonna be able to do much but a basic attack on one of these waves good good we got energy back nope we don't need purple on this account solo let's see what you can do demon hunter absolutely nothing <laughs> all right Illyria, you got this get that attack steal rolling oh no <laughs> oh no yeah it looks like we're just gonna have to feed the energy off so much for trying to cycle energy Let's just feed the rest of the fodder off. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. So, Bloodblade it is for every wave. Hopefully, we can get to 50. 50 would be a nice number. We do have potions this time, whereas last time, we kind of just ran out of steam when it came to potions. I don't think there's any waves that are particularly super difficult for us. There's some, like, kind of difficult waves, but none that are, like, really bad. Like, this one will get an active in round two at the least. Yeah, we get, we get the heal, which is big, because if we don't kill anybody, those flame strikes can do a ton of damage. This is scary. Stun from Walter, stun from... Oh, Margaret, we got some, like, C... Doesn't Molasses silence? I almost feel like this is a demon potion wave. Anything with CC, especially stun and petrify, like... I think we, oh my goodness, yeah, I think we would have died without a demon potion there, like, for sure. Molasses do a ton of damage in this early game. Let's heal back up a little bit, but I don't think we're going to have a problem. We're going to win here round three active, I think. No, not quite. We get some energy back, which is good. Solo D8, that should be fine. Good, good, good. We're getting to the point where our active does not one-shot people anymore. So we have to be careful. I'm actually going to top off because it is a quad wave. Okay, not horrible. Good. Okay, we'll take it. Honestly, we'll take any win. Any win, no matter how rough it looked, we'll take it. All right, let's see. DA does do a lot of damage to us. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. DA is brutal. Oh, my goodness. Um... Yeah, you know what? We're going to use the one angel potion. We're going to go all the way back to full on this wave. I just hate DAs. They do so much damage to Bloodblade. It's like our kryptonite. Round two active, which means we probably end on like full health. Ah, not quite full energy though. Full health is good. Full energy, not quite there. We got ourselves a Gru. All right. Solo DA, but at least we have an active in round two. I'm not going to bother healing, I don't think. Oh, my goodness. Ah, that is sure one sketchy fight anytime we fight a solo DA or like a duo DA. We get a heal back. Yeah, this is where we do need some healing because the end of round isn't quite enough. So we need to make sure we're, we stay high enough that we're not going to just get one shot. Oh, jeez. Mirror match, we died. No, we got a new record. <laughs> we got a new record at the least, but still no checkpoint. And I think we are still stuck on this Margaret fat moo wave. Like, I think we just get stun chained to death. I think that's how this ends up going. There's a lot of poison coming out too. The problem is we're not getting the kills. And then 
Well, actually, hold on. Did the upgraded pet rune actually make a difference? Nice. Let's see if we can smash through some of this. That would be nice if we could. Uh, ooh, DAs. Yeah, DA is kind of our kryptonite with our blood blade, it seems like. What can we do? There's the DA active, which is not great. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of damage coming in. And then especially if there's a petrify. Oh, the energy drain, but we do have an active. Oh, wait, what? Is there energy bug? What's going on? What's going on? We got this. It doesn't matter. We got it. Let's keep pushing. Let's see if we can get some more five star shards. Come on, speed racer. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. Demon hunters. Demon hunters do a lot of damage when they're the enemy. Now, ours doesn't do much, but the enemy demon hunters do a lot of. Look at that. Look at that damage. It's crazy. I don't think we can beat this one right now. I think we're going to need at least a 10 star blood blade. Which shouldn't be too far away. Honestly, we could have it like right now if we could just high roll a blood blade out of some shards. That would be perfect. We almost did it that time too. Do we have any? No, darn. I was really hoping we'd have just a little bit more. We already did our swaps, right? We got only 85 branches. We don't have anything special. Uh, I think we're going to do the last 10 profit orbs. You know what? You know what? I'm greedy. I know, guys. I am super, super greedy. Where is it? Where is it? I'm greedy. We're wasting 60 gems. I know. I want to do 10 more profit orbs in shadow right now. Please give me a blood blade. I should have done this before Aspen Dungeon, but give it to me right now. No, we got a lot. We got two swaps though. Maybe in the swaps we get really, really lucky. Aiden, no, we don't need Aiden. Come on. Show me Blood Blade. No, Field. Oh, man. All right, we get the Rogan copy. We get the Relics. Oh, wait, hold on. We have another five star. We have two five stars. What is this chance? 3.33. All right, we can do this. We're going to do one at a time. Not a Rosa. Come on, right here. No, <laughs> we can't get the hero copy. Oh, man, oh, man. We're getting so close. But we get one, two, three, four. We need one more as well. Just one more shadow hero, which we could use that Lutz right there. Actually, you know what? No, we can fuse one more up because we had the food. If I remember correctly, we had the food. Or rather, the three stars that we needed. What do we need here? One, two, three, four. We need four more. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got one more. So yeah, we can make another six star right here. That will be our food that we're feeding off. So let's put you in there. Feed you guys off. Nice. We get another coin, which is also nice. More pet materials as well. Come on, give me a high roll ticks. Not like it matters. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Anything more? Yep, a couple more points. A couple more. That works. All right. So, I mean, we are set. We just need the second blood blade and a third blood blade. And we could have an E1 right now. We just, who would have thought we need blood blade copies? Like of all heroes, we're waiting on blood blade copies. That is just stupid. <laughs> and again, we're just looking for a hero, any old hero to triple up because that's going to be the E2 nine star that we need. We're getting really close guys. This is a, uh, we're about to, I feel like spring rocket up in progress. If only we can get a blood blade or two or three. <laughs> I mean, it's nuts that we're actually taking this long. Sadly, we're, I don't even think he, is he in the relic shop? Hold on. He's probably not even in the relic shop, is he? Because he's not elite. So he can't even use relics for copies. Oh no, <laughs> this is bad. Oh, he is. He's there for 50. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, what if he's not there? He's there for 50. I should have known. All right. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. I'm having a blast doing this very quirky, different type feel. What is your strongest hero? Do you already have an E1? Do you have an E2? I mean, I could understand an E2 if you have copies. It's definitely possible, as you can see right here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.